So we have all of your mechanical switches, which are pretty self-explanatory. In is, in is on, out is off. They're all labeled. The way to get that system working is this top amplifier needs to be powered on right here. This is the master volume control for all of the rooms in the house. I probably would not turn it past about 70%. You've got your balance base and trouble controls. Auxiliary 1 is going to be sound from the cable box whenever the cable box gets installed. Auxiliary 2 is the FMAM radio from the Yamaha and CD is your headphone input cable this green cable here which is going to be tucked back over here to the side so um, if you wanted for instance to listen to the FM radio we would need to change the input to tuner at which point you'll have FM radio And let's switch it over to AM. And let's find a station. I needed both heat and air checked and maintenance. Alright, so we've located a station. And this is the living room volume control. So to listen to this on the rest of the house, we would turn the, the top amplifier on, turn it to auxiliary two, and you can see immediately this means there's sound coming in. Set the volume where we want it and turn on the room or rooms that we want to listen to. Now that the amp is on and powered up, we can go to CD to listen to the MP3 player or headphones or auxiliary one to go back to whatever's on the cable box. Um, please do not forget that cable box is on HDMI 2 and the Blu-ray player is on HDMI 1. The Blu-ray player you're only going to be able to listen to the sound off the Blu-ray player in the living room. You will not be able to listen to the Blu-ray player sound in the other rooms of the house. You can add a simple CD player to the system to be able to listen to it in the other rooms of the house using simply an RCA cable. The, this Blu-ray player only outputs in digital. It does not output analog, and this is an analog-only amplifier. HDMI 1 is once again Blu-ray, HDMI 2 is cable box.